Hello there and welcome back to another video where I will be testing if the Huck Loves Her Box strategy is profitable for trading with the trading bot or not. So this time I will be testing if this HLHB strategy is profitable. This video is part of a series where I will be searching for the best trading strategy for cryptocurrency trading with the help of a trading bot. I find these strategies by watching YouTube videos, trading sites or sources that are publicly available for use, like public GitHub repositories for example. Every time the strategy will be tested on its probability to make money by backtesting on multiple digital asset pairs over their largest possible backtesting period. And these testing results are then compared with the results of earlier tested strategies and entered into a total strategy league to get an overall picture of the strategy that has the best performance. Now strategies that are already available as frag trade code will be looked at to see what they do. On this slide you can see the complete methodology that I use. And you can use this as an inspiration to develop your own methodology for testing and comparing trading strategies between each other. I urge you to always do your own research after watching these videos and stay critical. So if you like these videos then please click on the like button and subscribe to my channel. And click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos. And finally a warning, please bear in mind that this video is for entertainment and educational purposes. Everything you see here is hypothetical and based on historic data, so there is no guarantee the investigated strategy will work in the future. I am not a professional, so always do your own research or consult a real professional before using any information in real trading. And as said. I am going to test the Hug Loves Her Bucks strategy. This is yet another strategy that is available through the Fractrade GitHub repository. And I will continue to test all these strategies until they are all done, so bear with me. Now to get this code, visit the Fractrade site and navigate to their GitHub repository. Then click on the main GitHub page and you will see a repo that's called the Fractrade strategies. Now click on the user data folder and then go into the strategies folder. And there you will see the HLHB strategy. And if you want to get this strategy on your computer, then follow the commands you see on the screen. Do this from within the user data and strategies folder, otherwise Fractrade will not recognize the file. And this time we start with a nice surprise and it's really refreshing, because this code actually has a link to an explanation how it all works. So if we go to this babypips.com site, there will be a nice short description of the strategy's intentions, indicators, entry and exit rules. So this time we do not have to grind and reverse engineer the code to see what the strategy does. Apparently this strategy is another crossover system that according to the website was one of the highest scoring mechanical systems in 2014. It also promises to be a generic applicable strategy on many pairs and I understand that it can also be applied to multiple timeframes. The strategy uses two exponential moving averages, the 5 EMA and the 10 EMA, and an RSI applied to the median price of the day. The entry signal is very simple, buy when the EMA 5 crosses above the EMA 10 and the RSI crosses above the 50 line. And the sell signal is the reverse, so sell when the EMA5 gets below the EMA10 and RSI crosses below 50. There are two more exit rules, and those are to sell when there is a 50 or a 200 pip profit target reached. And close trades when there are new signals to materialize or at the end of the week. But I am not sure how this is coded into the trading bot parameters at this moment though. So, now that we know how this strategy works, let's see how this is accomplished in Python code to use with the trading bot. To begin with the points where the profit is taken, the ROI section in this trading bot strategy file does seem to have some different parameters than the 50 or 200 pip take profit points. I think this is inevitable because of the time aspect in these ROI settings for frag trade. The initial stop loss for this strategy is 32.11% after the initial buy of the asset. And the strategy uses a trailing stop loss, which moves its stop loss by slightly over 1% when an initial profit offset of 1.8% is reached. 
This is also different from the original strategy that is published, because there was no mention of a trading stop loss on the side there. Also the time frame is 4 hours in this file, which is different than proposed, but this is not a big deal because the strategy should work on multiple time frames according to the site. Now let's continue with the part where the indicators are defined, a little bit further down the code. Here I can see that indeed the RSI and the two EMAs are defined according to the published strategy. But I also see that the AEDX indicator is configured and that was not mentioned. So let us now see how these indicators are used to create buy and sell signals further down. Up until the ADX part, the author of this code has very roughly followed the original strategy. But here, the ADX crossing above and below the 25 mark is also used to provide buy and sell signals. I believe that the original strategy was merely used as an inspiration or baseline, and the author of the code has added the her or his knowledge to the IS system as well. So yes, you can call this the Huck loves her bug strategy, but it's also not really this strategy, if you know what I mean. Maybe I'm nitpicking here, but yeah, that's what I'm thinking right now. But anyway, let's backtest this code to see which results it could potentially give. Who cares how it's called when it provides you with the large gains against minimal risk, hmm? By the first looks of the results of this strategy, apparently Huck loves her bucks to move to another player in the market. On all the time frames, this strategy is losing money, and they also immediately can tell you why this is. On the website where this strategy is described, there is no stop loss defined, and in the frag trade strategy code, the initial stop loss is almost 32%. So if you look at the results on the backtaste of the one day time frame, then you will see that 207 wins will make you around $220, but less than 20 stop loss triggers with some exit signals will make you lose around 420 bucks. That is almost double the gains you had. The strategy has a very high win rate and could be applicable to more than 70% of the pairs you want to trade, but these stop loss settings are just too high. So let's hopefully improve these with hyperparameter optimization sessions and let's see if this strategy indeed can be profitable or not. Luckily for us, this time optimizing the parameters indeed proves that once again optimizing stuff like the take profit points and stop loss settings will enable us to gain profits without losing too much of it when markets are against us. We have lesser trades overall and a lower win rate, but the losing trades will probably be cut off more quickly and the winners will be running till higher profit points. And you can see this also in the results overview of frag trade. There are less winners, but the improved ROI points are giving more profits. And in comparison with the previous results, there are a lot more losing trades, but they are stopped quicker before they lose large amounts of money. And you can also see this by looking at the JSON file with the changed parameter settings. The ROI settings are much larger and the stop loss is changed from over 30% to less than 10% in the improved situation. So let's see how this strategy performs in comparison to the tests of other strategies that I did earlier. Hux should love her bucks a little bit more as you can see here. It only entered on the 17th spot of the total league. Now again, I have to admit that the code I tested was not actually the strategy that is published on the original website. It has an extra indicator and uses a trailing stop loss in the code. And other frag trade specific things like the ROI and stop loss settings are also not mentioned on the internet page. And the average trading amount in combination with the win rate causes an extremely high risk of ruin. Nonetheless the drawdown of only 18% is promising and maybe this strategy can be the fundaments for others to build on. So there you have it, 
another day, another trading bot strategy tested. I will leave the links to my GitHub page with the strategy code and backtesting results in the description below. Also there will be a link to the transcript and results on my blog and that link is also in the description. And I would like to thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like and a comment. It will help me get found better with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.